The Nasdaq and S&P 500 closing at record highs today, despite all of the ongoing chaos in Afghanistan and D.C. So is this whole mess actually good for markets? Joining us now is the Bonson Group Managing Partner, David Bonson. David, we talked about this before. It's one of the things I think that make a lot of Americans fed up with the markets. But but it does seem to be true that that there's something about all of these crazy messes uh, that the markets find encouraging, right? I think that we have to be careful about extracting causation from things that happen in the news cycle. The reason markets are up, David, is that profits are up 95% from where they were a year ago. And so the market's been able to not only respond to surprisingly good profit growth, but do so with interest rates at record low levels. And so the valuations are also boosted. But then you see that happening despite weird news, political news, foreign policy disasters, and people get surprised by it. But I do think it actually reaffirms a very important market truth. It's always and forever about profits and profit growth. But there's another one with regard to public policy, and that is markets like gridlock. We've seen that time and again. Gridlock inside the beltway, because that means that less money is spent. That means that that perhaps tax increases are going to get caught up in some committee or at one committee after another. And and now you have Afghanistan. There, there are senators from the Democratic side, like Cinema who said she doesn't want the 3.5 trillion. She's worried about the blowback from inflation. She's worried about the blowback from Afghanistan. That must play a part in optimism of, of traders, no? Oh, no, no, I totally agree. And I've been writing about this uh, a lot in my own daily investment writing. David, you're exactly right. There is a divided country. And for all the crazy things that the squad says and Bernie Sanders says, the market is all year not believe they're going to be able to get done the most dangerous of their progressive agenda. And and Kristen Sinema, by the way, the senator from Arizona, didn't just say she doesn't want three and a half trillion. She said she refuses to do it or anything close to it and will not negotiate. And so I believe the market expects something to pass that is much, much, much less than was feared. And I think the market is right about that. And so gridlock has been traditionally good. And when they can actually get something done and it is, I don't know, cutting taxes on job creators, Hmm. markets like that even better. They sure do. We saw that during the Trump administration. And at least it's going to take them more time to raise taxes. That's the least we can say. David Bonson, great to see you. Thank you very much. 